Oh, ano to? Ilisanin na muna natin ng bayang ito. Maraming salamat oh. sa pagbibigay halaga mo sa akin, Kirin. Pero kailangan ko ng umalis. Anong pinagsasabi mo, Bilibini, Clay? Ay, ano mo ito? Taong dalawang libot, dalawang put, dalawa. Mr. Torres, alam ko na rin po ang mangyayari sa mga tauhan sa LV. Nabasa ko na po yung libro. Pero ngayon po, Mr. Torres, kailangan ko pong makabalik. Kailangan ko pong iligtas sa mga tauhan sa kwento. Oh, yun pala yun. Wow. Okay, I'm getting goosebumps by just seeing that teaser. Para sa nolimitang, para sa helpful boosterismo. Um, guys. Pag-usapan natin ito sa analysis. See you guys on part 2. And well, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot to talk about. Anyways, ito yung sinasabi ni, uh, ni Mr. Arts sa comment section. Ito yung scene na yun na magkasama si Ibarra pati si Basilio, di ba? So, I find that interesting. We didn't see this part of Ibarra sa books, I believe. So, I wonder what what kind of um i think we're going to see his decision yung decision making niya kung paano pupunta sa ibang bansa at para mang ibang tao pero this is a part this is something that talagang aabangan ko mismo next week kasi i'm really curious to know on on what actually made ibada transform into um the very embodiment of simon Diba? What made him go to Cuba? How did he travel? And how did he prepare for that change? So I'm really curious to see that. Um, and I'm also curious to see bakit niya kailangan si Basilio. Ano ang gusto ni... Ano ang balak ni Ibarra para kay Basilio? Bakit niya kailangan isama si Basilio sa, sa journey na ito? We'll see about that. Um, again, si Clay mapaalam na kay Fidel. I think nakita, we also said na, you know, Fidel might not see the portal kasi hindi naman niya nakita si Professor Torres. Pero hey, given na may light, ito yung ilaw na yan. The light is being reflected to um, Fidel's shirt, clothing. I'm pretty sure na nakita din niya mismo yung portal. Okay, wala important na ito lang important na nakita ko na talagang itim yung gateway pupunta doon. So there's that. Um clearly, wala si Maria Clara dito, so hindi sasama si Maria Clara. What the thing that really surprised me here is that literal nga na binasa ni Clay ang libro ng El Filibusterismo. Binasa niya mismo ang libro at mukhang malungkot siya. I feel na we are going to get a montage of her reading the book. And I do wonder, I do wonder if kaya we're going to get a shorter version of El Filibusterismo ay para again, iligtas niya. I mean, babalik siya sa mundo ng El Filibusterismo para she has a mission to save the characters, di ba? So, I'm not going to spoil anything from the El Filibusterismo books. Pero how is Clay going to approach the El Filibusterismo story with the knowledge that she has, diba? Given that she was able to do some slight changes, do sa dinggin nyo kami na scene, what are the chances na she might be able to make some significant changes sa libro mismo? Given na may alam na siya about sa mga spoilers. Maybe that explains why we are going, we are now only going to get um, 20 more episodes regarding to the El Filibusterismo story, di ba? If not 20, 15 episodes. Will this El Filibusterismo have a happy ending? Will Clay be able to bring Simon and Maria Clara together? Will we see 
a version of Elephant of Wisteris mo kung saan napatanggal na nila yung mga Espanyol, pati yung mga Praile sa story na to. At yung ending, naging, ano na, ang ending na nagpakita ng mga Amerikano para, mag, para sa kupin ng Pilipinas. Pero anyways, the, itong abang na to, this is probably one of the biggest teasers that we are going to get about the next coming episodes. And again, you guys will see my reaction to all of it. And wow, I think I think it's better for you guys to avoid any spoilers regarding this show. I see it will be better to experience everything and be surprised about the storytelling compared to any spoilers that you sa mga BTS and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. This scene right here, this may be more, oh my god, just looking at the Elfil Bustarismo book right here. <sighs> this is it. This is it. Thank you for watching, you guys. That's my reaction, that's my analysis on this episode. And what do you guys think? Are you guys excited? And what are your theories? Goodbye, you guys. Take care and see you on Monday. Goodbye.